And these are the four major parts that make up a scene. Slug lines, also known as scene headings. They provide the information about the location and the time a scene takes place. Action blocks. Describe what the characters physically do in the scene. Then you have the character names so that the actor knows which character is speaking. And of course, we have the dialogue, the spoken words performed by the actors. This is an example of a narrative master scene script formatted page. This is the type of script that you're going to most often write in this class. The scene heading or the slug line that provides information about the location and time of day. A scene heading always starts with INT for interior or EXT for exterior. Next are the action blocks where the visual and audio descriptions are written. Action blocks are exactly what they sound like, describing only the actions performed by the actors. When you first introduce a character, their name is written in all caps. Action blocks, too, should be kept short. If you write more than four or five sentences, you probably need a new paragraph. Although it looks like the character's name is centered on the page, actually it's indented in its own column. And a character's name is always written in capital, capital letters, indicating which of the characters is about to speak. Think about the movies that you've seen that, a, that on average run between an hour to an hour and a half or two hours in length. You know, this translates into a script links that are traditionally 95 to 125 pages long. And by following the formatting rules laid out in this lesson, your written pages, too, will translate into one written page for every minute of screen time. With proper formatting, you have the ability to know roughly the length of your film. So throughout the writing process, as you include new ideas, you can easily figure out the overall length of your film and whether it fits into the desired length that you're trying to make. I can't stress this point enough. You must present your work like an insider. A scriptwriter has to adhere to the conventions um, covering everything from how many pages to what font is used. The sheer volume of submissions in Hollywood make it so that if anything, anything about your script looks strange, it's headed for the trash can. If you don't know the game, Hollywood doesn't want to play with you. Let's look at an example of a short scene from uh, the master scene style script. It could be possible for you to write an entire script with short scenes like this, in which case you'd end up with a very short script as far as the total page count goes. But that doesn't mean that when it's filmed, it would be a short film. Action tends to play longer than it takes to read on the page. The opposite is true with dialogue, which eats up page space, but plays relatively fast on screen. Previously, I gave you four major script elements in a scene. Here are all eight. The scene heading is a short description of the location and time of day that a scene takes place. It's also known as a slug line. Here are two examples used for an establishing shot and then a cut into the interior of a boat cabin. The term slug line comes from the newspaper industry and is still commonly used. You know, but it's going to depend upon who you're working with and what part of the country they're from and what their background is. And in just a few words, you gain a wealth of information from being indoors or outdoors, the location and the time of day. Within this one line of script, all the information to set the scene is quickly provided. Here's a few more examples. Note how a dash is used to separate the location from the time of day. The action block is a description that sets up what is going on in the scene. It too describes the setting and allows you to introduce your characters and set the stage for your story. Always write in present tense, not the past. Keep your paragraph short. Don't let them go on and on. More than four or five lines requires you to break the action into a new block. Action is written in real time. Every moment in a screenplay takes place in the now. Even flashbacks or historical dramas and movies happen in the now. Use an active voice to describe your action. 
such as a window slammed shut, not the passive voice of a window is slammed shut. When any and all characters speak, their name appears on the line above the dialogue in all capital letters. A parenthetical is direction to the actor on how to say the dialogue, maybe with an inflection, by you, the writer, not the director. Take a look at the use of these parentheticals in this short dialogue example. An extension is a technical note placed directly to the right of the character's name that denotes how the character's voice is heard. Note, Frankie's dialogue contains parentheticals, and Julie's line of dialogue has an extension. So in this scene, the audience hears Julie's voice even though she's not seen on screen. A shot is also a technical information directed to the cinematographer as to how the camera will record the image. I want to caution you as the writer to again limit your use of shot directions. You are not the cinematographer, you're not the director, you're not the producer, and directing by the writer from offset is frowned upon in the industry. Here are a few common shot directions. Note the use of angle, looking up at the sharpshooter. Dialogue is the spoken words delivered by the actors. A transition is a technical direction to the editor about how you, the writer, see a scene move from one scene to the next. Inserts are like shots, but spell out what exactly should be seen on screen. Typically an insert is what is referred to as B-roll, or images that don't have the primary actors in them or can be recorded using doubles or stand-ins. And finally, let's sum up this lesson with some important do's. Do proofread your script, or get someone who knows how to spell and use proper English and grammar to look over your script before submitting it. If you plan on selling your script, make sure you register it with the WGA prior to submitting, and do follow the formatting rules. I know this is a lot of information, but it's very important.